is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2024 volvo s60 courtesy of younger volvo in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one because there are a few nice changes for the 2024 model year and this is an extremely good looking sedan in my personal opinion as well i've always liked the looks of the s60 and really all volvos in general but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering fuel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there are a few different trim levels for the 2024 s60 first one being the core starting at forty three thousand ninety five dollars then there is the plus which actually is the one we were in today starting at forty six thousand forty five dollars and lastly the ultimate going for fifty thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars and so there's first two trim levels front wheel drive comes standard the ultimate actually now comes standard with all-wheel drive that's new for 2024 by the way but if you wanted to add all-wheel drive to this first two trims simply add twenty three hundred dollars then to either of those prices but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the s60 is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with a mild hybrid system putting out 247 horsepower at 5400 rpm 258 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm that power being sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.4 seconds for the front wheel drive and then 6.2 for the all-wheel drive so plenty quick there mpg numbers then coming in at 26 in the city 35 on the highway for the front wheel drive 25 city 33 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test i do want to mention to you guys there is one drive mode it is a uh, steering sensitivity mode and that can be accessed through the settings on the uh, nine inch tablet style infotainment screen here so if you wanted a firmer steering feel that is how you're going to go ahead and be able to do that but anyways now that i've got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway. let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 volvo s60 here up to speed all right in three two one go i love the sound man <laughs> yeah there's nothing wrong with that you're not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway that acceleration is perfectly fine and since it has a mild hybrid system there wasn't really any delay to that uh initial punch either so definitely don't mind the acceleration here in the s60 but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 11.8 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.9 inch solid rear discs as far as that 6 easier stopping distance goes it's actually going to come in at 114 feet which is insanely impressive that is a sport sedan number right there let me just tell you guys that usually you find the 120s for sedans but anything in the one teens is excellent so let's go ahead and test the braking feel real quick it's brilliant i love it i think i said that before too braking feel is amazing in the s60 definitely on the firmer side of things so absolutely no issues with bringing this thing to a stop i absolutely love it there then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double wishbone tight front suspension in the back integral link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it's been fine it's been fine on my short little test drive here today it's definitely absorbing any road imperfections quite nicely so perfectly smooth ride there touching on cabin noise we're going approximately 36 miles per hour right now exactly 36 miles per hour so i'll let you guys be the judge of that honestly it's been perfectly fine though i'm not getting a whole lot of uh exterior wind noise or road noise coming into the cabin so that's great as well as far as steering sensitivity goes i love it and the reason i love it is because i put it in that steering feel firm mode that i access through settings like i was telling you guys so if you like a heavier steering feel making it feel more like a sports car you can do that with that steering feel firm mode but if you don't you got a loosey-goosey steering feel which is what i originally had when i first started driving this thing and let me tell you guys it is a noticeable difference there is definitely a difference in that steering feel 
depended upon whether or not you put it in that firm steering feel mode. So I will say that, but I do love that firm feel. So absolutely no issues there. Then touching on visibility, it's a perfectly shaped sedan. So you're not going to have any issues with rear visibility. I can see perfectly fine out the back there and touching on forward visibility, rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on this one. So whenever it detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So one less thing you got to worry about there. And if you are looking for a head up display, you will have to go with the ultimate trim level. So that's why we don't have it with this here today, but essentially that's gonna project your speed, speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield. So just one last thing you gotta worry about there. So that is perfectly fine as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Volvo S60. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Volvo S60 finished in denim blue. In case you were curious of our exact exterior color name. As far as where this one is made, uh, taking a look at the window sticker and the VIN, uh, the engine is going to come from Sweden, of course, but a final assembly point on this one is actually South Carolina. So at least for us U.S. customers, this one is built and assembled here in the U.S. I love it because I feel like it didn't always used to be that way. For a lot of times, this one was built and assembled in China, but now it is actually made in the U.S. So well done, Volvo. I like that. But Anyways, one of the new changes for 2024 is Volvo's dark theme is now standard for all trim levels. So before you had the bright and the dark theme option, but now dark theme is just gonna be the standard setup here. So wanted to mention that, but let's go ahead and start up front as always. LED headlights with LED Thor's hammer daytime running lights do come standard. They do get the automatic feature along with automatic high beams then as well. So if you have your high beams on at night, it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for there so i like that led fog lights with the cornering function though also coming standard that's something that is very rare even on luxury brands you almost never see that so essentially when you're going around a bend at night those fog lights are actually going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or a possum or a moose or whatever you're driving around cyclist i guess as well so that is pretty darn cool i like that a lot of times they'll put that feature on headlights but volvo has chosen to put them on their fog lights which is good enough for me that's pretty cool but anyways very good looking front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right tipping out some cr around to the side of the s60 gloss black window surrounds do come standard power adjustable gloss black side mirrors also coming standard on this one they will be heated with led integrated turn signals then as well i like that then taking a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch diamond cut alloys are going to be had with the core and the plus trim levels that of course being what you guys are looking at right now i actually like the design it looked pretty darn good on this thing but then 19 inch diamond cut alloys for the ultimate trim level if you were to go that route but again that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of the s60 all the way to the top body colored shark fin antenna looks good got the chrome volvo lettering spelled out horizontally that also looks good then of course with this being one of the safest vehicles out there you do have led c-shaped taillights so added illumination at night there so love that and just below it all i know volvo used to expose their exhaust outlets i think i still prefer that but having said that this look isn't bad because they're not faking like there is exposed exhaust outlets like some of the other brands do in <coughs> volkswagen audi so i do like the look in the back anyways there are dual exhaust outlets they are tucked away underneath so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So now since we are around to the back of the S60, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it actually is a hands-free rear trunk. You can actually simply just kick your foot underneath and it's gonna automatically open up for you. There is a button on the trunk itself, of course, and there is a button on the key fob as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 11.6 cubic feet. Of course, you have cargo lighting back there. There are some grocery bag hooks as well. It's typically something you find on SUVs, but very rarely on sedans, so I liked that. Then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find a spare tire. And of course, I don't want to forget to mention, 
The first aid kit, as uh, Volvo and Lexus always are known to do for whatever reason. So I don't know, I think that's pretty cool though. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that comes in at 35.2 inches. For reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in those rear seats. There is a rear center armrest with some cup holders. The cup holders are pretty large actually as well, larger cup holders than I'm used to. Rear ventilation does come standard. Cool thing about that rear ventilation though, it's actually on the sides, kind of in front of the rear windows there. So interesting place placement but that means both rear passengers actually get their own vent so i guess that's kind of cool rear charging ports rear phone charging ports do come standard as well and heated rear seats actually are optional we do have them with us here today so you can spoil the rear passengers a little bit in this one if you wanted to but then make our way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats do come standard for all trim levels you do get two-way power lumbar coming standard but the ultimate is going to give you four-way power lumbar power cushion extension also coming with the ultimate along with memory settings as well but it is optional on the plus we actually do have memory settings for up to two different drivers with us here leather seating actually is going to come standard on the s60 i like that and then heated and ventilated front seats are going to be available it's another one of those options but overall as far as seat comfort goes it actually was perfectly fine now it wasn't perfect because like i always say vertical seams are the best there's no awkward pressure points with that but because of the adjustability of the power lumbar in the s 60 it was perfectly comfortable for me and i have a bad back so that's definitely saying something so no issues there but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is manually adjustable and it is leather wrapped and i like the little uh positions where you can put your left and right thumb on the 10 and 2 grips there that was pretty cool it's something volvo does that other manufacturers don't so i like that then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key you got your volvo logo on the one side but all of your buttons though are located on the side of the key so you got lock unlock and the button pop the rear trunk there but another thing i want to mention orange key is key number two black key is key number one so it is going to differ in color but it is all keyless entry with a turn knob start so to start this one up simply put your foot on the brake turn it to the right and then to stop it also turn it to the right yet again so pretty easy to remember but once started up there is a very nice looking 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that does come standard for every single trim level so i like that you got your speedometer on the left tachometer is on your right and if i were to have set this up which i did not there is a navigation that would be displayed in the middle there so uh, it uses google maps so it's the best mapping system available so that does look pretty cool and holy cow the car is telling me it's 104 degrees out today that is in insane so it tells you tells you how hot it is it also tells you how many miles you have left until you hit empty so pretty much an excellent looking gauge cluster without a doubt but then make your way to overall interior quality here's one of my favorite parts dual pane panoramic moonroof does come standard for all three trim levels so every single trim gets that love that dual zone climate control also coming standard but four zone climate control coming with the ultimate Taylor dashboard also coming with the ultimate i do like this texturized matte wood trim found above the passenger side glove box as well as surrounding the shifter here as well just in front of the shifter though you got a little bit of rubberized storage you got some cup holders up here 12 volt power outlet within the center armrest decent amount of storage there another phone charging port in there and of course i don't want to forget to mention the uh, flag of sweden found on the passenger seat here that's something volvo always does gotta absolutely love that i like the very high quality aluminum speaker covers on our Harman Kardon sound system which we'll be testing out in a second but overall interior quality has been perfectly fine I like this carpeting finish found just by the driver's right knee and by the passenger's left knee as well so very high-end finishes in the s60 without a doubt but then making our way to the infotainment screen here you will find a nine inch tablet style color touch screen display it's going to come with bluetooth and audio streaming android auto apple carplay you can check out your climate control settings up there as well heated steering wheel button if you get that heated seat buttons as well you can check out some weather information actually and of course your radio information and so when it comes to the sound systems there's actually three of them so a 10 speaker hi-fi sound system is going to come with the core and the plus but then there is a 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with the ultimate that comes with 600 watts and then a 15 speaker Bowers and Wilkins sound system that's available for $1,200 but that 15 speaker sound system comes with 1100 watts then but having said that we do have the 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 600 watts so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one 
Yeah, that's good. Really, the first thing that impressed me about that sound system was the ridiculous amount of clarity. And if you think about it, 14 speakers in a vehicle of this size, this isn't an SUV, there's not a whole lot of space going on in here. That's incredible. So obviously you're gonna get incredible clarity in the S60. Bass was plenty fine as well. Really no issues whatsoever with that sound system. I will say my very favorite sound system, one of my two favorites was the Bowers and Wilkins in the S90. So I know that one's gonna be absolutely insane as well. But the Harman Kardon, absolutely amazing as well. But last thing I wanna to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the S90 in reverse, you will find a very, very high definition rear view camera. You do get the 360 degree monitor there as well, giving you the bird's eye view, which is always is going to lead us into safety. So first, let me start by saying IIHS top safety pick plus, which pretty much says it all right there. That's the very highest rating given by IIHS in typical Volvo fashion, of course. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. You're gonna get a driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, collision avoidance assist with pedestrian, cyclist, and large animal detection, love that. Lane departure warning, lane keep assist, and runoff road mitigation then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the S60, safety is brilliant. You cannot beat an IIHS top safety pick plus, and Volvo has always been known for safety, so that pretty much makes sense. Love the flag of Sweden on the passenger seat, I always say that. Excellent driving dynamics in this thing as well. The braking's phenomenal. The steering feel is wonderful when you put it in that steering feel firm driving mode. Acceleration is plenty fine as well. Love the design of it. As I said at the very beginning of the video, this is a very good looking sedan. The only two things this thing is missing, maybe just one of them, the other one is optional, but one thing it's missing is a wireless phone charger. I didn't see that anywhere. The other thing it's missing is some ambient lighting. A lot of luxury brands like Volvo and even Hyundai and Kia and Genesis are doing it. They put multicolor ambient lighting in their vehicles, most of them, and I think that would look absolutely amazing in the S60 as well. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the S60 in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.